Hi there, that's right. It's Nick Dutch. Back on the camera yet again. Hi there, how the heck's it going? It's a brilliant, bright, sunny morning today. We've got a spot of rain coming later on, so obviously one more day of not needing to water the garden. Okay, now we've got a YouTube user inquirer today whose channel name is AngelFun2002 and she wants to have a look relatively generally to see how her work and her finances are going to work out with the passage of time into the future. So we'll just have a quick look, still shuffling like mad as, uh, as I'm sure you, you know whilst I'm, whilst I'm talking to you now. Now this is still a relatively general question, so I, I will probably use the Celtic Cross spread with this particular method. There are only a few different types of spreads that I tend to focus in on or tend to use. One of them is of course the Celtic Cross, and I tend to do my relationship spread as well, which is very useful for all kinds of interpersonal dynamics. And I also do a chronological spread as well. Okay, now with the relationship spread, I can vary that quite substantially depending upon the questions that are asked and how many people I need to read on. And sometimes I do uh, blind readings on two people. Let's say the inquirer has got their, their heart or their mind set on two different individuals and I can then do what, one reading here, one reading there and we can see basically which one is showing the best kind of energy. With that type of question I would not normally need their first names. I would normally say something like label them in your mind guy number one and guy number two for instance. Okay, that just gives you a bit of basic background as to how I do things in the physical sense, so to speak, in terms of choosing my spreads, laying out the cards, and basically all the rest of that. Okay, but let's have a quick look. I'll lay out the spread now, and we'll take it from there. Naturally, as before, to anyone who's watching this now, please do not leave your requests in the comment section of a video. Don't do that. That's very naughty indeed only leave them via private message because then, then I can keep track, then I've got a rotor, it's all set out, I can open the emails one at a time and I can just do each reading as they go, okay? Still going through the backlog, it's going to take a bit of time I'm afraid but basically my intention here is to try and get all of these ones done so we can then start on uh, basically something new as we uh, move on through the year. This has been probably one of the most wonderful video creation projects that uh, I've personally been a part of recently, okay, because it started as a you know a regular thing and way back in December, and here we are approaching midsummer, and you know I'm still going strong, still doing my regular readings over the over the internet here, okay. So obviously, if you want to be a part of it, then do feel free to get in touch, and we'll be happy to add you to the rosa, okay. Alright, well we've got quite an interesting spread emerging here. Okay. Yeah, quite a wide variety of different messages I feel. Alright, well we'll just have a quick look at the cards and then I'll explain to you what I'm seeing and why I have my interpretation. Just a moment please. Now this is a general reading, okay? So that's why I'm using the Celtic Cross spread because I feel it can cover a fair few different things. But it always starts with this part of the reading here and then moves on to this part here which is called the staff cards, okay? Now this part of the reading here deals with your character and deals with your nature and deals with yourself in the here and now. And I feel you've got an awful lot of things which are there to actually assist you in generating the level of success and achievement that you actually want to have in your longer term future, okay? You've been through a fair quantity of powerlessness in the past, but now you're in a much greater position of freedom, alright? You're in a character, what you like behind closed doors, maybe there's still a bit of, uh, I would say frustration maybe, associated with the, with the way that things have been for you in the past. But sometimes it, there's, there's like one or two little issues which seem to be a little niggling, a little sort of nagging at you or gnawing at you. But now you've got a sense of pride, you know, you're, you're much better as it were, brighter. I would say your aura is much brighter as well, and you're in a much stronger position as far as moving further forward in your life is concerned. I feel that these signs here, are being very strongly associated with passion, are in fact talking about your ability to develop the next quality relationship, and the fact it will be a good quality of relationship as well. So I would say that a lot of your desire for a relationship is for something happening in the short term future. Let's sort of peek to the back of the book, so to speak, and have a quick look at what we have in, on the staff cards. Short term and mid term future signs. Very descriptive on the relationship side of things. I know you're asking about work and money and career and all the rest of that, but we've got a strong male significator here, okay, and a strong male significator here, with a sense of you getting precisely what you want and something of the romantic as well, okay. So the feeling I'm getting is actually that you're finally ready. 
But what you expect to get in terms of the quality of man is not necessarily what you're going to get and feel happy with. We've always got to learn to separate in our own minds between that which we desire and we fantasize about and that which is actually out there in the real world. Okay, so my impression here is that yes, it's going to happen. Yes, it's going to be beautiful. But there's also got to be a bit of a change going on there, okay? Now, as far as the actual progression is concerned, I mean, your conscious mind is, is also showing signs of frustration, and your subconscious mind is showing signs of not quite, you know, being there. And I feel that amplified with the past is basically causing a few more issues for you. So maybe you need to apply a bit more acceptance into your life. Like, okay, learn to think more about the things that you're grateful for. And also try and work on just seeing and understanding the fact that your life really isn't all that bad in the here and now. Often when people ask about work and finances and money, it's because they've got some specific issues on, you know, on their mind. But the future part of the reading doesn't actually have that many signs relating to disturbance or destruction. It's much more to do with stability, as we can see just there, you know, in your mid or later term future. The energy surrounding your past, that's talking about a bit of difficulty. I mean, that's... There was a time when you really needed to defend yourself. But I don't feel those times are in the here and now. Maybe that negativity I've seen here, here and here is somehow connected to some bad things you've experienced way, way, way back, okay? But the anticipation of the future, I suppose the hope, you know, guided by the passion that we've seen here, is actually very strong. So I say, financially speaking, you're looking not too bad longer term, okay? You're going to scrape by. It's not a question of massive success yet. I feel that's much more a year of 2011 or year of 2012 thing for you, okay? But in the meantime, you're going to find ways of getting by. So... I wouldn't worry about that. Obviously, look forward to the guy who's coming into your life. Obviously, within six months from now, that relationship is really going to start to flourish and really start to do well for yourself, okay? So, it's actually looking quite interesting. Remember the, you know, remember the message here. Learn to build up acceptance so any negativity you may be suffering from here, here, and here can be basically put put aside and you can start focusing on the more positive aspects associated with desire, and with overcoming negativity, okay? Because that's actually going to be very useful for you. Whenever you feel frustrated about something, it can be a good thing, because it can help you to think much more about how to improve your skills, about of earning money, building a good relationship, and so on and so forth. The big picture is actually very bright indeed. All right, so we just had a quick look there, okay? There is some negativity there, and I'm going to be honest about that. But for the most part, the reading is actually coming out with an awful lot of positive stuff. If we think about the, you know, the longer term future signs of uh, being able to get your stability in place, I find it interesting that these signs didn't turn up earlier on in the reading. So I feel that maybe you are in a position of instability, not just emotionally speaking, but possibly financially as well. But did we have signs relating to destruction? No. Frustration for the here and now, that sense of powerlessness was quite, quite apparent there, okay. But that's something you're feeling and something which is associated with the past, that time when you need to defend yourself or protect yourself. But thinking about the bigger picture, it's actually looking quite good. When we're looking at the signs for the following year, these are signs of new plans being made, okay, a new future being laid down for yourself. Based upon what you're going through at the moment or some of the things you've experienced maybe, but it's still out there for you, okay. This is a very positive reading in the bigger picture. I would say don't worry. Obviously carry on being the best you can you can be, okay? Obviously carry on living within your means, but know that something good is going to happen. Your time will come in terms of relationship and in terms of, you know, financial success. And I feel that very strongly indeed. Okay? Bid you good fortune, God and or Goddess and or none of the above bless, as I often say. And I'll speak to you again very soon.